to hear about her last year when Vanity Fair magazine ran its famous cover of her and Cindy Crawford together at the hairdressers. We couldn't offer her quite that treatment, but we did have a good barber shop. This is the Esquire hairdressing salon. Great. It's a bit, it's a bit different from your Vanity Fair shoot, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But the chairs, it's all about the chair. And that's, and that's Murray, the proprietor? Mm -hmm. And Hi, Betty? Murray. Hello, and hello. And Betty is fine. And this is your chair. This is my chair? Yep. Okay, I'm going to sit down here. I can give you a haircut if you want. You can give me a haircut? Yes. We got it from Monday. Okay. Just, are you, are I'll you just, qualified? Yeah, sure. I'll just get you with these. I don't trust you. <laughs> I'll write my initials in your head. <laughs> we can show you Murray's massage unit. Can we do that? Yeah. It's kind of a scary looking thing, actually. Oh. <laughs> New Zealand torture. Are you are you game to try it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sure. I get a massage now. You're run. Oh yeah, that's good. good yeah. He's not quite Cindy Crawford, but I think he's quite good at this. Oh, he is better looking. <laughs> <laughs> better looking than Cindy. She started out country. Not that she was accepted by Nashville, she never really was. They thought she was just a bit too different. She says she's still the same gal at heart, but the image is a bit different now. It wasn't around me, it was around Cindy, so, I mean... It looked good, though. Yeah, it was fun. It was different. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. She's very professional. What's Murray like? Is he professional? Murray's very professional, and that feels great. You like it? Yeah. You need to come on the road with me. <laughs> Promise? Yeah. <laughs> I was going to ask you about, about your voice, first of all, like that famous voice. How did you get to sing so well? Where does that come from, originally? Well, without sounding too cliche, it's God, really. It's totally gift of nature. It sounds God-given. I mean, it's a good description of it. It's different from... I remember one time Roy Orbison said to me um, that it's, he just happens to be the antenna. And he picks up on this channel and, and somehow it comes out of him. That's how I feel, basically. Katie Lang broke through big time with the album Ingenue, perfectly sung ballads that crossed over into multi-million selling territory. And now there's the new album, the soundtrack to Even Cowgirls Get the Blues, released to another torrent of critical acclaim. How's the massage going? Have you had enough? It's awesome, yeah, it's great. No, but no, but you can see. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. That feels great. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll put that away for you. It's a great machine. Right? I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> Do you see yourself as a kind of feminist icon? I know that's a big question. But, I mean, are you aware of that kind of responsibility? Um, yeah, I'm aware of it. I mean, I think that when, when one becomes famous, you're essentially voted in by public, by, by popularity. Did it take guts, though? Definitely. It's scary. It's a mm. scary thing. I, I could have ruined my career. Mm. It's a scary thing. I mean, you have to be really, really ready to, to suffer the consequences, whether really positive or really negative. Does it get to be a drag? Are there times when you think, oh, leave me alone, I just want to be myself. I don't, I don't want to be this symbol. Oh, sure, but I think that's that way with anybody who's involved in the public. I'm sure that these people are tired of cutting hair at the end of the day. I mean, it's the same thing. You write a lot about partnerships, of course, and, and very intensely. I mean, are you ever going to find the perfect partner? Who would your perfect partner be? Oh. Somebody exactly like me. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. Speaking of me, I have to fix my hair. It's messy. Your hair looks pretty good. Oh. You don't have as much hair as country singers should, they? No, I know. You know what they say, the higher the hair, the closer to God. <laughs> That's, That's pretty good. Is that one of yours? <laughs> and before she left, a rare favor granted. Katie Lang sings in an interview. Mm -hmm. Can you sing a wee bit of constant craving? Sure. People keep Which part? That the chorus or the verse? Oh, the chorus. Yeah. Constant craving is always. Oh, it sounds so lovely. Mm. <laughs> That's got us the record. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>